All right, guys, what is going on? Welcome back to some of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Extreme Randomized, and that's a lot over the guys are having yourselves a great day today. And if you do want to go support the episode, make sure you drop a like down below. Of course, the support is greatly appreciated. And since we are going to take on the Elite Four today, and we are approaching the end of this playthrough, uh, we still have a little bit more to go if we do beat the Pokemon League. But since we are technically approaching the end, if we can hit 1,500 likes on today's episode, that'd be absolutely amazing. So if you see the like button, or the like counter, I guess I should say, isn't 100% at 1,500, drop a like. It takes one simple click, and it does help out so much and helps us reach our goal. Um, so thank you guys so much for all the support. I do really appreciate it. Um, it's hard to even believe that this series is almost done. Like, it's freaking crazy. This is by far my most loved like playthrough that I've ever done and I seriously cannot thank you guys enough for the continuous support on it but either way we are here at the Pokemon League with a, with a team with a squadron I, I, I want to decide or I couldn't decide if I wanted to say team or squadron so it came out as like never mind we have our starter still we have Emerald the Tyranitar it feels so weird to say that we have our starter this late in the playthrough but you know what here we go, we have Emerald at the Tyranitar with Dark and Bug typing, Moxie ability, Beat Up, Bug Bite, Earthquake, and Surf. And, off screen, uh, you guys have been yelling at me for a long time to go get the Tyranitar right in the Jagged Pass. Uh, but we couldn't do it until we actually, uh, what's it called, uh, like Awakened Kyogre or something. So once we did that, I uh, went and got the National decks from Birch and went and got the Tyranitar right. So now we have a chance to have a Mega Tyranitar. Now, when it does Mega Evolve, it's typing and ability will change, so hopefully they aren't terrible, but we'll see. Also, you guys are yelling at me because apparently I missed a Mega Stone last episode. I missed like two. I missed one in Little Root Town, um, which is an Ampharos set apparently, and then I missed one uh, by like some water. And to that I respond, like, why does it even matter? We don't even have the Pokemon that that Mega Stone would be like useful on. I don't get it. Like, I mean, I guess it's good to have the Mega Stones, but we can't even Mega Evolve the Pokemon that that stone is used for because we don't have it. So I don't, I don't know what you guys want from me. Then we have Ragdoll, the Glacier, and the Flying Typing, Pressure Ability, Earth, uh, I've said Earthquake, Air Cutter, Freeze Dry, Tail Glow, and Will O Wisp, Spaz, the Archaeops, Ice and Electric Typing, Pixelate Ability, Drain Punch, Wild Charge, Dragon Ascent, and Earthquake. I took your guys' suggestion and I got rid of the Fly TM or HM, I guess I should say, because we do have Dragon Ascent, obviously. Then we have Bishop the Bisharp, the Dragon Typing, Intimidate Ability, Bolt Strike, Shift Gear, Acrobatics, and Earthquake, Arms, the Golem, Grass and Fire Typing, Torrent Ability, Earthquake, Dragon Breath, Smelling Salts, and Thunder Fang, and Georgina, the Mega Heracross, Water Steel Typing, Drizzle Ability, Earthquake, Close Combat, Sticky Web, and Thunder Fang. I also took off Strength on that thing because we didn't need it. I do have all my items. I'm pretty sure, like, yeah, we are bougie bull with items. And without further ado, I think it is time to go ahead and take on the Elite Four. I'm excited, I'm ready, I think we can do this. Oh, I hope we can do this. Um, Steven's A should be 65. So it may seem like 58 is a little bit under leveled, and it definitely is, it definitely is, but a lot of you guys are telling me to go in at 58 because that'll make this challenging. Like we want this to be challenging considering these gym leaders we've gotten all too lucky with, and they've been pretty easy to beat. So you know what? This is a good time to have a challenge. Uh, obviously, we leveled up for uh, Steven, not for these dudes. So 58 also is pretty good because it keeps us on par with the actual Elite Four and not just Steven. Because uh, if I leveled up to level 60, then these dudes I'd be over leveled for and they'd want to be appointed him. But either way, um, I'm just thankful our team is really powerful. I'm going to start off with Bishop. I'm going to try to set up a shift, uh, shift gear and just destroy this team. Let's see if it'll even work. I like that look you're giving me. I guess it'll give me a good match. Well, I hope so. I hope so. So, another thing is depending on how this first fight goes and the Phoebe fight goes, um, this episode may be only two Elite Four matches or it's going to be all four of them. We will see. We shall see. We shall see. Giraffe rig. All right. So, starting off strong. <laughs> uh, what levels? It's probably going to be 58. It's probably going to be 58. 55, okay. Well, his ace is gonna be a lot stronger than that. Also, we gotta remember that Steven is also gonna have a mega evolution. And another thing is you guys were telling me that I, I should go ahead and beat the Elite Four again after this when they all have megas, and we probably will do that too. Um, Cause I do want to full, not like 100% this game because I don't want to go do like getting all the mega stones. I'll, I don't know, all I want to do is Delta episode and then we'll re-beat the thingy, I don't know. And I, I also want, I don't want to go get all the legendaries. Maybe we'll get some of them here and there. Um, 
Like when I, um, what's it called? I was on Latios or Latias, I can't uh, remember which one, but either way, I was using the Eon Flute. Actually, I'm gonna go for one more shift here. I was using the Eon Flute, and because I just deleted Fly off of Archaeops, and I was like, okay, I'm in Lily Cove, I need to go all the way back over to, um, the uh, Evergrande City, the Pokemon League. So I got on Latios, and I came across this place. Oh god, what was it called? I don't know. It was a place where there was a portal. I went down on the island. I was like, oh my god, there's a portal here. Like, I can get a legendary Pokemon, but I didn't do anything there because I didn't really want to. And, um, yeah. I didn't want to look at it then, because I thought it would be a good idea to just look at it. Uh, if we're going to look at that legendary at all, whatever it would be, it'd be better to do it as a group. Also, there's no way that I could have looked at it because I would have to save, look at the Pokemon, and then soft reset. And if I soft reset it, then the, our Heracross would turn into not, you know, a non-mega Heracross. And we don't want that. We're trying to be broken out here. We'll go for Bolt Strike. I was thinking it was Wild Charge, so it would, um, it would take Recoil, but we definitely won't. So we are plus two. I actually did not kill. I am very surprised. Come on! Of course he has Thunder Wave, though. I feel like it's probably an Electric Typing. Come on. It's gotta be an Electric Type. Is, um, is Thunder Wave 100% accuracy in this game? Does it change in Sun and Moon? I think that's when it changes. I think it's still 100% here. Alright, so it probably was electric because that was super effective. So that's perfect. We got one down. We got four more to go, I think. So we know what Glaceon's going to have. Glaceon should have nothing that is super effective. So we can go for Bolt Strike. Or, or not. We can just miss. That works too. That would have absolutely obliterated this thing too. That's the crazy thing. Well, <laughs> I feel dumb. Minchino. Okay, let's just go for. I'm gonna full. Uh, is it even worth it full restoring? I think we should just stay with the full heal because I don't know. We don't need to waste a full restore on that. If we were at like one HP or even like in the yellow, I probably would consider. Oh boy, come on, bro. You gotta chill. You gotta chill. So now we're not plus two anymore. Plus like 1.5, right? Or plus one. Would it be plus one? Yeah, it's plus one. Oh, I didn't mean to go for that, but whatever. This could be really bad if he goes for Icicle Spear. I don't know. I'm just throwing out moves. Hyper Fang. That could still be bad. Chill. Chill, 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 chill. You don't need to do that, bro. Never thought Minchino would be such a threat. Work up Minchino, though. If that was... If this thing was actually normal type, that might have killed, because that would have been stab. What does that do? I think that's probably good for us. I mean, now he's just probably... Does it switch the stat changes? Or does it just switch, like, the actual stats? Because if it switches the stat changes, then... Oh, it doesn't even matter. Well, bye, Minchino. See ya, homie. Mm -hmm. Alright. Here's the Glaceon. Hopefully we don't miss this time. That'd be completely... That'd be complete Garbanzo Beans trash. Come on. Let's go for Bolt Strike. I've said it before. Like, I don't even know how... How garbanzo beans he came to like a thing for when we call something trash because garbanzo beans they're not trash they make hummus right is that what it is i think if it's not i'm gonna feel so stupid but hummus is good all right ferrothorn now have we seen a ferrothorn this whole playthrough i don't think we have look at that thing my favorite nickname for these is frisbee i think it's so freaking funny get it because like why would you use it as a frisbee oh my god get bodied oh my god shift gear bit sharp who knew who knew? It's actually the meta. Real Lu now? Okay. Well, this is the last one. And I'm pretty sure I can just chuck a acrobatic sound his throat. All right. Well, at least we know we have a we have essentially a cheat code to beat the game, or to beat any battle. And it's this Bisharp right here. Pretty much a cheat code. Shift gear setup. Absolutely annihilate everything. That's just what. It's a true combo. It really is. All right, so let's go for a, I don't even need to really use a max elixir now. I'll save it just in case. Um, let's use spaz. Let's use spaz. And I'm debating if whether or not I should turn the EXP share on. I don't think it really matters. I don't really, but I don't know. We'll just keep it off, I guess. We'll keep ourselves as under leveled for Steven as possible, I guess. I'm trying to spice it up a little bit, okay? I'm trying to make an epic fight happen. But it hasn't happened so far, so I don't know if signs are... Signs are looking so good for us, but that's fine. 
that's fine. So we got this Phoebe fight to look forward to. Isn't there that little ghost girl that appears in that chair during this little like cutscene right here? Let's see if we can see her. Let's see. I know she's not always in the chair. Like you can sometimes see her in the corner. Let's see. It's so creepy. Where is she? Oh, she just sat down in the chair. Oh, okay, because this is out of the POV of the little girl. She just sat down in the chair. Right? And now she's walking up close. But she can't see it because it's in her POV. <gasps> Where is she? She's in the corner. Yeah, you can see her. She's like right by my neck. I thought it's so cool that they added that there. Sometimes she's sitting in the back, right? Or isn't there a frame that she is or something? I don't know. Whatever. It doesn't really matter. If there's a ghost girl here, we'll body Phoebe and that ghost girl. Easy fights. Oh! Well, that actually really fit, like, the whole setting of, you know, the flowers coming in and stuff, uh, at the beginning of her fight, and the general background. I like that. Xerneas, that's pretty fitting. I'm not gonna lie at all. Let's hit this thing with the Dragon Ascent. We battled one really, really early on in the game, but I have no idea what typing it was, or I don't remember, at least. Um, that does nothing. Oh, wait, I forgot that drops my... Bite. Why does that do so much damage? I want to go for a wild charge. Because now we know it's a flying type. Bite. If he's just going to keep going for bite, though, I might as well swap out. There's not really a point in risking it. I, 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 there's not a point. Bite. Um, let's try Emerald. So we made it a flying type. I don't have anything that can hit it for super effective. I'm pretty sure. Oh, I should have got. Man, I should have got rid of Surf. And put Thunderfang on. I completely forgot that we had Surf on this thing. Ah, oh, that's totally my fault. Alright. Let's try the Mega. Let's try the Mega. Let's go. Alright, if this Mega ability and typing is absolute trash, I'm gonna be so upset. I really will be. Because you guys are telling me to get this freaking uh, Mega Stone for so long. And if I finally did it and it's worth nothing. I'm gonna be so sad. Mega Tyranitar is so cool though. Pound? Really? Best Xerneas moveset of all time. Oh, that's cool. It turns into a dark typing after all of the hits, not just after the first one. So I guess we can get a little more damage on it. Still, it's not a lot. It's really not doing anything, which makes me very concerned. What's the stitch, bro? Damp. And now you're poison and normal. That's, that's stupid. <laughs> that's really not cool. I don't even think there's a reason to Mega Evolve. For Damp? I mean, we just have better stats, that's it. But like, Moxie is so much better. I could get a kill and then Mega Evolve. That's what I probably should do instead. That's probably what I should do. Are you serious, dude? Come on. Are you serious? Thank you. Die. It's not even like I had a Serene Grace or anything because we already saw its ability. Jeez. Alright, see ya, Xerneas. No Moxie boost for us. Land Dude! Oh my god. Alright, please be. Please be. In land uh, please be T. Lando T. Lando T. Therian, come on. Therian. It is Therian. Nice, that means I can burn it. That means I can burn it. I mean, technically, I'm um, sorry. About the yawn coming on. Technically, this mon can, um, what's it called, be special. I mean, I've seen some special people run like a sludge bomb or something, right, on these. I don't know, but I know Landorus Incarnate's always special. That thing has like, um, Calm Mind, uh, I don't know, either way. This one's more physical oriented, so I guess that's why I was, you know, I thought that immediately. Um, but it looks like he just has camouflage as a move. Um, so that's cool, and you're gone. Tail Glow is broken as absolute balls, so we should be able to run through this. We should be able to. Capital should. I just capitalized a whole word. A whole word. World. Did I actually, is the XP shirt on and I didn't keep it on? Or I didn't turn it off? Why would I swap out? There's no point in it. Eric Cutter. And it missed. Perfect. Ice Beam. 
Even more perfect. Okay, that didn't do that much. Well, compared to what I thought it would do. We should be fine. If that doesn't kill, then we might be screwed. Come on, come on, come on! Oh, thank God. We are chilling. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Maybe I should swap out. I'm probably gonna do that. I'm probably gonna swap out. Unless this absolutely annihilates it. Holy crap, it actually did. Wow, I should've just went, I should've just went for that. What the hell, that just destroyed it. Animals, yeah, I definitely have the XP on. Whoops. And I was just talking about how I didn't have it on too. Let's give Arms some spotlight. I really, really wanted Arms to learn a grass or fire type move during level up, but that never happened, unfortunately. And I think the next time we learn a level is 62, if I do believe. Uh, try and EQ. Oh, God. Of course. <sighs> I think it might be more beneficial for me to just spam Earthquake here and hopefully wake up soon. Otherwise, I'm pretty sure Freeze Dry. That's not super effective, right? It's not yet. Otherwise, like, I'm just gonna wake myself up. He's immediately gonna go for it again. Celebrate. But then again, doesn't Grass Pulse have like 55 accuracy? Oh my god! I did not expect that to kill at all! Yo, what the. I don't remember him only being frail. <gasps> oh. No. It brings back the memories, man, of our yellow banana friend. Floatzel. But unfortunately, I'll have to put an end to this thing. All right. See ya, dude. There we go. We beat the second Elite Four member, Phoebe. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Go to the next room. All right. So we have Glacia left, as well as Drake. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. We have made it very freaking far in this game. Ooh. Do you just slide in, or do you have still have to walk? Let me slide. That'd be, that'd be so cool if you could slide on the ice. Uh, oh well. All right, here's Glacia. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa! We have some healing to do. Do do do. All right. So I think, I think I'm actually gonna go ahead and wrap up today's episode right there. I know I haven't really done it before where we split up the Elite Four, two and two, but I think we're gonna do it right here. Um, simply because I want the finale to go up on the weekend. Um, just because I always have the finales uh, go up on the weekends. I don't know, it just feels right to me. Or not finale, but like the champion battle go up on the weekends. Um, so I think we're just gonna keep that. So if we do two here, two on Saturday. Wait, cause this goes up on Thursday. Two on Saturday and then two on Sunday. It should work. The, the champion on Sunday and other stuff. I think, or maybe, or maybe. Here's the deal. If you guys hit the like on this episode, I will do the Elite Four and the champion battle on Saturday. If not, I'm gonna do the champion battle on Sunday instead. So. It's up to y'all. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you drop a like down below. Of course, the support is greatly, greatly appreciated. And next time, we'll be either taking on two Elite Four members or two Elite Four members and the champion. So, yeah. Peace.